My name is Teresa Morehouse Howley, and I am a narrative sculptor. This is about marriage. This pan would represent you, and you're at the gates of marriage, but you're not married yet. The flowering of the tree of life that's coming out of you are your hopes and dreams as a result of this commitment that you're about to make. Now, as soon as you say, I do, or I will, or whatever it is you're going to say, and walk through those gates, there are lions on the other side of the gates and uh, they need to be fed now. If we feed them meaning, we get to walk consciously through all the rooms of our life, and we're after the water of life back here, which is the very best we can make out of the circumstances that we've been given. If we ignore the lions, they devour us. And if we feed them something that has no substance, then we turn to stone and become unable to feel at all. Uh, by the time I was six years old, I was making life-size sculptures out of snow. And uh, my mother would uh, hose them down with water and they would turn to ice and then we'd have these ice sculptures all over our lawn. The pieces are made um, out of cold cast bronze. I start by modeling them in clay and then I make a rubber mold and then I uh, take the clay out and use it for another piece. Um, at that point, I um, and the pieces that you're looking at right now are actually done in a, a high-end polymer clay painted with metallic acrylics, and that's how I sketch before I do my bronzes. Um, after that process, after I decide which direction I want to go, I blow it up and do larger pieces. And um, then that's when I make them out of clay, make the rubber mold, clean up the rubber mold, cast with resin and bronze powder, clean up the uh, casting, and then I uh, patina the surfaces with copper, silver, and gold leaf. For instance, um, we started actually with Noah out of the Bible. And we, went, we would go to the library and we would look up stories about floods in all cultures and in all times. And every culture that I know of has a flood story. The little pieces that you're looking at now are little archetypal pieces. Um, they're, um, for instance, this little piece right here is uh, called Spirit of Discretion. She has the ability to recognize what's coming into her life, and she decides whether she wants it there or not. She also has the ability to cut it out. These are all knives above her head in this halo. I'm Bill Bailey from Oakland, Tennessee. I'm primarily a watercolor painter. And as you can see, I try a variety of subject matter.
Stepperman. Um, I'm from Kingston Springs, Tennessee, which is in Middle Tennessee near Nashville. Um, this is my fourth time in Fairhope, and uh, I'm a weaver. I do hand-woven uh, clothing and accessories. Everything is hand-woven in here. Um, the multicolor yarns are hand-dyed. I mix them with solids, and I use silk, cotton, and bamboo. So everything is a very lightweight, it's good for air conditioning in the summertime and layers in the winter. If you, if you stretch it out, it's actually a sunset scene over the ocean. It's a one-of-a-kind hand-painted yarns, and it's um, bamboo and silk, and is a real nice wrap, you can just wrap up in the sunset.